Hello and welcome to my first Swift UI tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to build this little calculator with Swift UI. So let's get started. First, we are going to uh, create a new Xcode project. Uh, here, you just have to uh, make a new project and same view app. And here, make sure you click Swift UI. And yeah, then you should be fine with uh, this template. And yeah, so let's start. First of all, we will have a state var uh, called current number, which is of type double. Yeah, so, and we will initialize it with zero. This current number is basically this number that stands right here. And to make our life a little bit easier, uh, we will uh, make a computed property called displayed string, which will handle the formatting. And so we will do it like this. And what this basically means the uh, F and the percent just tell the compiler that we have a double here and the point two uh, tells the compiler that we want to have two uh, decimal places and here we just give current number and yeah our text should be displayed string ah come on ah, another Xcode Bug. So let's see if he likes that. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, looks like that's better. So, yeah, uh, first of all, we are going to style the text a little bit with a uh, Font of large title and the font weight should be bold. The line limit uh, free. The, you don't have to do the line limit, but I like it because uh, that just means that there is no uh, text over uh, no line overflow where where. Uh, the numbers are so high that they are going up there somehow and yeah next we will add some padding to the bottom 64 points and yeah we will I will use a spring animation this is just for uh, when the number gets updated that we have a little animation that shows uh, the new number. Yeah, so we will wrap all of this in a V stack because we want to have the we want the text above this uh, container where all the buttons are inside. So we will have a text right here and below that we will uh, give the other stuff and what we will tell the compiler here is we want some alignment trailing alignment you will see this later this just uh, aligns the text to the right here so that it isn't in the middle and then we add some spacing about let's say 20 points it's just that these things are evenly spaced yeah so uh, we will also give this v stack uh, some padding as well so uh, let's see if uh, it works but the padding just uh, so that we have a little bit space on the sides here um, yeah so why isn't this uh, trailing right now this is because uh, 
the text is only this wide and because of this uh, the complete V stack isn't any bigger and therefore it can't align anywhere so we will see it when we add some other stuff in here uh, this will align correctly so next I want to create a new view struct number view which is of type view and has of course a body of type some view and first of all we want a <coughs> number of course which is a double and the button we are create we will create right now is, are these blue buttons and these blue buttons just yeah, have a number in them so we will have a number right here and here we will just say we have a text with the, so okay what we want to do right here is the same thing as above just that we don't want to format it but uh, to convert it to a string and this is pretty easy we just say string type int number and why am I converting this to an integer before converting it to a string? This is because we don't see any decimal places if we convert it to an integer and right here we don't want to see the decimal places. And what we can do right here is if number is equal equal to pi we want to return um, let's see where I have it we want to return this and if this not is not the case we just return the string and here we can also use the number string then <clears throat> and we can also style it a little bit. We use the font title. We use the font weight. <clears throat> Bold as well. We use the uh, oh, foreground color of white. Frame should be uh, with. 64 and height also 64 then the background should be blue and we also want to have a corner radius of let's say 20 and the shadow of blue radius 10 0 10 and yeah I think this should give us no errors but let's see <laughs> yeah okay that works pretty well so but we don't see anything of course so let's add a h stack and in this h stack I will give a number view with the number one and here we have it our number view uh, yeah and one thing I forgot is right here we don't want to have the normal blue we just want to have it with a lower opacity and about 0 0.3 and then it looks a little bit better yeah, and so if you want to have more uh, number reviews, we can just create more of them. And then we will have more of them right here. And right now this doesn't look very really good because uh, the space right here is much bigger than inside of here and we can change that by using spacers 
and what they do is they uh, expand in the middle and push each other uh, all the other things away and if we do this for each one here we get a nice uh, we get some nice buttons and yeah we can give this a little more buttons and yeah you can see right here that we have created the first uh, the first uh, yeah version of our calculator that doesn't work right now but I wouldn't I would say that doesn't matter right now because we will get it working and if we put another spacer at the top of the V stack we can push all of it downwards so that it starts at the bottom and yeah uh, in the next part we will create some other buttons and add some logic to the calculator.